Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Fan Mail Friday. And we have, let's see how many packages we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It looks like about ten envelopes or packages to open up on this Friday night. And then we also will be picking out cards all throughout the uh, giveaway, or all throughout the Fan Mail Friday to give away to you guys. So we will be... I think I have one from you, King Ding. I thought I had one. Oh, yeah, I do. It's underneath. So actually 11. I, th I think that's yours. All the addresses are upside down. Yep, there's one from King Ding here. Garrison, how's it going? So let's uh, just get this show on the road. The first one up is from Carrie Sunvold. Let's see what Carrie has sent us. Hope everybody is having a good start to their weekend. And there's a first super chat from Jonathan H. That's Autistic Family. Jonathan... Your package came in the mail today, so we will be opening your fan mail. Thank you very much for the super chat, and also thank you for the fan mail package. Chad, happy Friday to you. All right, let's see what we have inside of here. Got some packs of cards, some team bags, and a note. Let me make sure there's no address on there. Doesn't look like there is, which is good. Whoops, so let's see. It says, I'm new to your channel. I'm a huge Braves fan and wanted to ask if you would send me a few Braves card with one Braves rookie, um, Acuna Albies, or maybe a Swanson. Much appreciated. Carrie, thank you very much, Carrie. Definitely have a ton of those, all three of those rookie cards. Let's see what we have here. We have a Jack Flaherty rookie card. That's a nice one. Just looking for some Cardinals cards to send off to somebody today. I think I fulfilled about 10 fan mail packages today. Uh, let's see, who did I get out that I can remember? Uh, Richard Bennett, uh, Tony from Virginia, W. Voggs. Um, let's see here. Let's check these out. We have some big league right here, some big league cards. Some 2019 Tops cards also sent our way. Boom Slang, how's it going? Some 2018 Tops cards there. Walker Bueller. Always like Walker Bueller cards. Looks like the Pirates just beat the Brewers 9 to 4. Trot the B says your account got deleted. You made a new account, it looks like. I'm glad that you're um, not completely deleted. For a second there, Trot the Beast, we thought maybe you were grounded from YouTube because we hadn't seen you in a while. Some 2019 Bowman cards. These are pretty nice. I like Bowman cards a lot. And we got some Topps Chrome. How are the treatments going, says James Hill. Um, are you talking about my cancer treatments? I'm done with those. Um, I'd have to go back and get checked in September to see um, if there's anything going on still. We have some Gypsy Queen cards. Went to the doctor today, though, and found out I have cellulitis in my leg. Which is never fun to hear, but it should be able to be cleared up. They gave me antibiotics for it. Cellulitis is basically just a bacterial infection of that wound. They said it's pretty common with a cut that deep and, and big. They said it's nothing that I, I did. I try to take good care of it. It's always like showering on one leg and stuff. Try to keep water out of it, but... All right, and the last part of Carrie's package, we have some of these cards from the Junk Wax era. All right, so thank you very much for those, Carrie. I'll toss a card or two in the giveaway pile. Let's see here. Let me pick out the best ones from this, and then I will... Let's see, the best ones... Who are players that people would definitely... Let me see if there's any good rookies in here. We'll go with, uh, I don't know, people might want him. And people might want... We'll go with, I guess, these three. They're pretty, pretty good players. Oh, wait, maybe I should throw in that one, too. We'll do f I picked out four cards from that first one for a giveaway spot. 
Thank you very much, Carrie. Let me just get cleaned up here with this one and then we'll move on to the next one right here. Just uh, randomly pick that one. Chasing Auto says, hey Jabs, next time can you make a league for the quiz like adults and kids, like a kids version and an adult version? Um, I already made all of the questions. I tried to put some in there that um, the kids would have a better chance of knowing. So they're not all like questions like who was the 1978 most viable player and stuff like that. I'm trying to make it a mixture. Put some questions about me in there that, I mean, if you're a kid and you've been watching my channel, you'll be able to get. All right, let me check out this next package. Let me get the uh, name covered up. This one is from Striker Cards. Striker Cards, pretty cool name there. Striker Cards. James says, how's the leg uh, doing? I went to the doctor to get my stitches taken out today, and they said it was infected. So they gave me an antibiotic and said it should be, uh, should be okay within like seven days or so. Check out this. We got a Pokemon trading card game for Olivia. Very nice. She'll like that. She's in bed right now. It's a little bit late. Got a late start today. There's a $2 super chat from DMC Sports. It says, I love Fan Friday. I'm getting close to 300. Get well soon. Thank you very much, DMC. Hope you guys will check him out. Busy day today. Another uh, trading card for Olivia. Put that in her stack. Lone Star, how's it going? Lone Star Legends. How about this one? Josh Bell. He's in getting some serious consideration for the Most Valuable Player Award, at least right now. We're only about a third of the way through the season. But he's on pace for about 50 home runs and about 150 RBIs. Garrett Cole, that's a nice one. Some nice cards in here. Walker Buehler rookie card. Like that one a lot. Another Walker Buehler rookie card. So he sent me two. Then we have a Bill Mazeroski. Uh, medallion and Daniel Norris and Barry Bonds 87 Don Ross rookie card. There's some nice rookies in here. Um, let's check out the note. It says read first. I didn't see that till right now. It says, My name is Striker Cards, and this is my first contribution to Fan Mail Friday. I've been a sub for some time now and really enjoy the flea market and Fan Mail Friday videos the best. Here's just a little something for you, including a card I think the viewers will find interesting. I also threw in a little something for Olivia. I'm glad to hear that you're doing better with your battle. The C word does suck. Keep up the great work with the video striker cards. <coughs> Excuse me. And also at the bottom it says, my YouTube channel is striker cards. I don't have any videos up yet, but if people want to sub, I would appreciate it. So if you guys want to uh, do a search there of striker cards and give them a sub, He's got some videos planned coming your way soon. Hey, W. Vogs, how's it going? Good to see you. By the way, Vogs, I just sent you a thank you note in the mail. And um, I didn't know what your favorite team was. I know that you work for the um, White, Sox, White Sox minor league affiliate down there. So I just sent you a pack of 2019 cards. and Actually, the best pack of 2019 cards that I had. In hopes that you get a really valuable card. So <clears throat> that should be coming your way soon. Let's see what we have. This must be a really valuable card. A lot of times people do that. They'll save the uh, surprise for last. Well, we got enough open. Let's see. It looks like it's a 1977 Topps card. So Andre Dawson rookie card comes to mind. It is a John Wathen signed rookie card. How about that? John Wathen, autographed rookie card. Cannot get away from this guy. Um, that's pretty cool. It's like a double signature there. His, his um, facsimile signature and his, his uh, in-person one. I wonder if John Wathen does through the mail. I wonder if he's been getting a lot of through the mail recently. Chasing Autos with a $2 super chat. It says, can I hit 50 subs tonight? Pretty close. Thank you very much, Chasing Autos. I uh, hope you guys will all go and sub to Chasing Autos. There's about 167 of you watching right now. Um, thanks for the super chat. Let me pick out a couple of these cards to give away to you guys. Throw these in the giveaway. I always like to pick out some of the best ones. Um, I'll put in the ones that I have doubles of. All right, we got three, three total um, things to give away now. I think I'll keep the John Wathen. 
I know some of you probably definitely want that John Waffen, but I feel like that one was meant for me, so I'm going to keep that one. Thank you, Striker Cards. I hope you will all sub to Striker Cards. All right, next up, what do we have here? This is... <clears throat> I'll just cover with my fingers. Well, maybe not. This is from Justin Glennon. Justin Glennon. Did you send back that 82 Don Russ box, says Eli? No, I still have that. It's still unopened. And uh, we're probably going to do a free break of that one. Free break where you guys get spots for free because it was sent to me for free. So I don't really see the point in charging money for a break where I got it for free. Jeffrey, how's it going? Welcome to the live stream. We got a $5 super chat from 357 MAGA. Says, Eric, thoughts about protective netting since you have children and you're a ball hawker. Zach Campbell is not a fan of netting beyond the dugouts. Neither am I. And also, Jonathan H. says, obligatory, obligatory appreciation super chat for random jabs. That's my wife's name. I don't know why she choose, chose random jabs. I guess because Olivia was on there once saying stuff. And um, and boys are working on a letter for y'all. Thank you to both of you, 357 MAGA and also uh, Jonathan H. Thanks for those super chats. I really hate the protective netting. I feel it kind of takes away a little bit from the sight lines and stuff. But I do see the uh, need for it. And we also have a $25 super chat from D. Porter. It says, hey, Eric, is the school year over for you? If so, congrats. You're such an inspiration to a lot of us, buddy. Keep up the good work. D. Porter, thank you very much. Hope you guys will get on sub to D. Porter's channel as well. Uh, along with um, Jonathan H. and 357. Thanks, guys. The um, school year's not over until next Friday for me. Basically, it's over. Everything is pretty much done. Finals are all done. Now it's just time to run out the clock. Um, we don't have to work next Tuesday because it's the uh, school picnic day. Wow, these scissors are really bad. Can't even cut through some scotch tape. So we've got, I think, two and a half days with the kids, and then uh, there's a teacher day after that. But I'll be done come next Friday. So let's see what we have here. And by the way, I cannot wait. We've got some stuff for Olivia again. I'll have to put this in her pile. i got to start doing these Fan Mail Fridays a little earlier so she can um, pull some of the stuff out of here when you guys send it for her. We had a busy day today. Got home from work. Um... Piled the kids in the car, went to the doctors, got my stitches taken out of my leg, and then headed right on down to an amusement park, Idlewild Park, and was there until a little bit after 8. So the kids got to ride some rides and stuff. It was pretty fun. They definitely love that place. Rode the Ferris wheel. Let's check out this note. The note says... Well, I'm just making sure there's no address on there. It says, Dear Eric... Jabs, my name is Justin Glennon, and I sent you fan mail to both you and John before. All last week, me and my family were sick with a bad cold. Me and my family are feeling much better now. Last Saturday, I went to my local Rite Aid and found something for Olivia, and I hope she enjoys it. I also sent you some cards as well to do what you want with. My friend Steve Lamb was rushed to the hospital last week after he was hit by a beanball. I hope he's okay. Uh, he Or he is okay and currently resting at home as of right now. He's a huge fan of basketball. I wanted to know if you and Olivia could sign these two basketball cards for him. Uh, that's the only thing I would like in return. I was wondering how come I never see your brother with you when you go to baseball games? Has your brother ever even been to a game? Just wondering. Uh, I wish you and your family the best of luck. Your number one fan, Justin G. Uh, thank you very much for that. I hope your um, friend gets better. And what? What? We have a $100 Super Chat. Check this out. Sorry about that. I missed that. I was reading Justin's letter. Thank you very much, Justin. I will put that letter back in your package and make sure I sign that basketball card for your friend. Truth Seekers Jason uh, says, I'm sending you something from 1965. I'm hoping it's your favorite Pirates player. God bless you. Holy cow. Truth Seekers. Holy, $100 Super Chat from Truth Seekers, Jason. Thank you very, very much for that. That is very generous of you. I hope you guys will all take a second and subscribe to Truth Seekers, Jason with the $100 Super Chat. Thank you very, very much for that. I can't wait to see what you send from 65. 
1965, let's see, who was in that set? Um, Willie Stargell, Roberto Clemente, Bill Mazeroski are some that come to mind. And John Schmidt followed that up with, uh, how much Series 2 do you have on order? Will you be breaking on June 12th, breaking some 82 Fleer as we speak? Thank you very much, John. Um, I believe I have four total cases ordered. I think I have two Hobby and two Jumbo. I'll have to go check because I pre-ordered them about a week or two ago to try to get in early before the prices all skyrocket. And uh, also, Adam, a.k.a. Profit, with a $5 Super Chat, says, Got my hands on a Doc Crandall T206 today. It's graded very good three, but it looks much better. Just has some centering issues on the back. Thanks, guys. I hope you guys will take a minute and sub to all of those Super Chats. They all came in at once there. $100 from Truth Seekers, 10 from John Schmidt, and uh, 5 from Adam. Thanks, guys, very much. And I'll look, we got another one. Jen Fitzpatrick, three weeks ago, sent Super Chat when they are mailed. Jen, thank you very much for that $2 Super Chat. Appreciate that. And... Thanks, guys. It's very generous of you all. Um, we got this next package. Let's just get right on to it right here. This is um, Dalton. Dalton Medley. You can see there's no return address on there, so it'll be pretty interesting. By the way, I got a case in the mail today. I think it's my definitive case. I haven't opened it up yet. I cannot wait to do that one. Top's definitive will be pretty crazy. Oh, King Ding says, can we do his next? All right, let me move, bump that up in the order here. Bump you up to the on-deck circle. We don't have any giant boxes tonight. All these are small to medium packages, so there won't be any long breaks of these. So we'll be getting to the trivia question pretty soon, or trivia questions, where you guys can win the uh, some of these cards. I'm trying to pick out the best cards for you guys to win. I know a lot of you like that. All right, we've got all kinds of stuff coming out of here. We have this, which says Hall of Famers. I guess that was supposed to be wrapped around one of these. Uh, here's your address. So I'm going to stick that back in your package so nobody sees that. Paul, I have not sent those out yet. It's been a busy week for me, but I have them sitting right here to the left of me. I'll get those out along with the uh, stuff from tonight that I give away. We'll just do it all at once. It says, uh, hey, my name is Dalton, and I have been watching your videos for about four to five months. I am now a senior in college. I first started to collect when I was in elementary school, but now after watching your videos, it got me back into collecting uh, when I have the money from being a broke college kid. In the package, I included some Hall of Famers and Pirates cards. This is my first Fan Mail Friday. Also, I included a few Topps Finest and Metal cards that I've never seen you open. Yeah, I have not um, opened too many of those. Lastly, I included something for your personal collection I think you would like. I would also like to have some autograph cards sent back in some packs from the 80s or 2000s. My favorite team is the Red Sox. All right, let's check these out. We have some, this looks like a um, pirate stack here. Like he said, it's some metal cards, it looks like. And some finest cards. These were um, some of the nicer cards of the Junk Wax era, these finest cards can see these are some buckos. I'll go through them rather quickly because I know roughly 29 out of 30 of you are not Pirates fans. Barry Bonds is in there. Bob Kipper rookie card. Some more Barry Bonds. <clears throat> some more Pirates cards here. We'll just scan through them quickly once again. There's metal. Austin Farmer with a super chat there. It says, my professor... Paid for me for my classes coffee this morning, so you see the money I would have spent for you on your channel, Eric. Keep it up. Go Yankees. Austin, thank you very much for that super chat. And um, that was very nice of your professor to do that. Must have my, Was it like the last day of class or something? I could see a teacher doing that on the last day of classes, rewarding you guys for a, a good semester. Thank you very much for that super chat. I hope you guys will go check him out. Give Austin a sub. Got a Derek Jeter right there. I'm trying to... All right, let's pick out the best one out of this stack. Let's see. We have another $100... Back-to-back $100 Super Chats? 
Holy cow! Truth Seekers Jason, thank you very much. Jesus loves you, Eric, and I'm sending you a 65 Roberto Clemente, pretty close to mint, I think. Thanks for keeping the hobby of collecting alive. Holy cow! I do not have a 65 Roberto Clemente. I think I only have two, I think I have two legit Clementes in my collection. I have a 68 Clemente, and I have a 1960 Clemente, and I believe that's it. So that I'm really looking forward to that. That is very generous of you, and really super generous with the super chats tonight. Truth Seeker Jason, and he reminds us that uh, Jesus does love us. Thank you for that comment very much. Um, I grew up, um, grew up in a religious household, and I do believe that you must. Um, I don't want to get too religious on you guys, but you have to accept Jesus as your Savior to get to heaven. And I really appreciate that. Um, very, very nice. Striker cards with a $2 Super Chat says, Sorry about the Wathen jabs. jabs. I just had to. That's okay. Um, I realize I'm going to get lots and lot, lots of John Wathen cards probably for the rest of my YouTube career. Um, do I have the 73 Clemente? I have the... Uh, iconic cards version, but um, I do not believe I have the regular one. Another, Jen Fitzpatrick with a $20 Super Chat says, my son sent to two Super Chats three weeks ago. He asked for a card you offered in Evan Longoria when the cards were mailed. We sent you an email. He's looking for it. Thank you for being a good role model. Uh, let me, I think, I'm trying to think what happened to that card. That was when my wife was doing those um, the giveaways when we did the chats. If you haven't received it yet, you should have already. So send me another email, Jen, um, with your address in it. And um, I, I have several of that card. I'll send you another one. I thought we got that one out to you, but sometimes stuff does get lost in the mail. And um, we'll definitely get one sent out your way again. Thank you very much. This says open last, by the way. We got, what do we got in here? By the way, this looks like how I used to wrap presents. Just using like regular like lined paper, newspaper and stuff. That's how I used to wrap my presents. But we have a nice Ichiro Gold Signature Collectibles um, image card. This is pretty cool. I've never seen these before. Can barely even fit it in this screen there. That is really nice. We have an Ichiro card here from Flair. What year is that? 2004. And an Andy Van Slyke Finest card. I don't think I have this one. So thank you very much for that nice fan mail, Dalton. Really appreciate it. Let me just clean this up. And we'll get on to the next one. And King Ding said he had to go to bed. So let's get King... Where are you at? King Ding's uh, stuff right here. We have a $10 Super Chat from John Schmidt says, you're on fire tonight with Super Chats. I forgot how bad the photography was on these 82 Fleers. Ever open these on air? 82 Fleer, I believe we did. I believe we did the search for Calrican Jr. rookie card maybe about two months ago or so. And, um, can't, I think we found one. Everything kind of runs together after a while, but I made a playlist of my um, Throwback Thursdays about... I don't know, a week or two ago. So it should be on there if I did it. 82 Fleer definitely had some bad photography. This is from King Ding. And a $5 super chat from Chasing Donnie Baseball. That uh, says, Evening, everyone. Your 82 tops break was awesome, Eric. Had a successful, if you know what I mean, 83 break posted earlier this evening. I haven't watched that yet, but I'm going to have to check it out. So you had a successful 83 break. So you must have found the Trinity of Rookie Cards from 83. Boggs, Sandberg, and Gwyn. I'll have to check that one out. I'm planning on doing 83 sometime within the very near future. Looks like this might be an address. Let me get that out of the way. Self-addressed stamped envelope. Yep, good thing um, that was covering that. Let's check this out. This is from King Ding. It says, what's up? This is my second time running to you. I put some cards in from my PC. Nothing uh, really special, though. I would like to thank you for getting me back into the hobby and getting a whole bunch of people in it as well. In return, I would like some Yankees cards. Thank you, King Ding. And King Ding was just in here. He said that he had to go to bed soon. Let's see what he sent us. 
Uh, he sent us a Mike Trout wall climber card. That's a nice one. I like that. Another Mike Trout. A Severino rookie card. A Ted Williams 1954 Topps 65th anniversary card. A Corey Seager 1994 Topps rookie card style. I don't have that one. I like that one a lot. And Bryce Harper. Very nice. Let me pick out a couple of these. Do a little giveaway on uh, these guys here. And there's a Sally Lloyd super chat. Um, a pound 99. Is that how you say it? You don't say dollar 99. Pound 99. Hey there, it's 3.25 a.m. in the United Kingdom and you're still awake. Love your channel. Thank you, Sally. Sorry for such a late start. And uh, there's Darren Comfort. Darren Comfort says, um, thanks for my packages today. You're welcome, Darren. Thank you very much for your support on Patreon. Hope you got some good stuff out of there. And Kevin Jones with a $5 Super Chat says, love the 82 Tops break as well. It was the first I started collecting. Lots of memories. Was really hoping to see a Yaz, Carl Yastrzemski. Going to send you a care package. Kevin Jones, thank you very much for that Super Chat. Hope you guys will check him out as well. All right, let's see here. I'm going to put the Severino in the giveaway pile. It's his rookie card. I'll throw that Trout card in there as well with Harper. Thank you very much, King Ding, for your... Um, generosity and Polly Junkwax with a two dollar super chat says chasing donnie is raising money for muscular dystrophy all right thank you very much check both those guys out everybody Polly Junkwax and also chasing donnie baseball all right let's go to this next one i know a lot of you will probably have to be leaving us around i don't know 11 o'clock if it's too late but uh there's dragon fan tim still working on the super chat spreadsheet um I showed part of the address there. That was stupid. I saw Brandon, and at least we didn't show the whole thing. I don't I have no idea who this is. There's that in there. This. Inside, <clears throat> we have a note. It says, Hi, my name is Cole, and I'm a Phillies fan. In exchange for these cards, can I have a pack of 2010 Series 1? A pack or a box of Tier 1. Three Phillies autographs. <clears throat> so you want a pack of 2010 Series 1. One pack of those. And you want a box of Tier 1, which is what? What's a Tier 1 box? Like a hundred and some dollars a piece? Hundred fifty dollars a piece? Three Phillies autographs or relics. One Mickey Mantle card. One pack of Pro Debut, one graded card, one jumbo pack of Bowman Draft. If you can't find any of those cards, it's okay. You could send me any other cards. Um, I might be able to find some Phillies autographs, maybe. Uh, the Tier 1 stuff, I, don't, I broke that and sold all that. I don't have any 2010 packs laying around. Um, we'll see what I can find you, though. That's from Cole. And... Um, he has some Pokemon cards for Olivia, and he is not a Patreon patron. All right. JT says he forgot to ask for a 52 Tops pack. Let's see what we have in here. Kevin says Chet Lemon sent this one. This is for Olivia. There's some Pokemon cards in there. I don't know anything about Pokemon, so I'll let her look through those. Five dollar super chat from Chasing Donny Baseball says, "Was that was that letter postmark on April first? Hey, we you never know what's in here." Dave M, that's Dave Miniachi says, "Hey Eric, thanks for the package today. You're welcome, Dave." Dave sent us some fan mail. I think it was last week or the week before. And like I told you guys, I'm starting to get back onto the. Uh, I think I sent out ten today, and maybe like ten um, on Monday or so. I'm trying to trying to think when I sent those out, but I'm working on it. And hopefully get them all sent out. And uh, here we have some cards from the 80s and some recent cards. David Bodie, rookie card, is might be the best one so far. Randy Tomlin. It's an 81 Tops card. Oh, 
All right. Um, I'm not going to be able to fulfill your whole wish list there, Cole, but thank you for the, uh, the cards that you sent me, and I will send you some cards back your way. Jeffrey said it looks like it's from a Fairfield box. Yeah, that's what happens sometimes. People will take the cards from the Fairfield that they collect and send the rest my way. Let's check this one out. This is from... Let me get that address covered up. He might be in here. This is from Jonathan Hall. That's Autistic Family, Jonathan H. Let's check this one out. Jonathan H, you've probably seen him around the channel. Bought into some breaks recently. I think he had the American League Central. Polly Junkwax says, pull an Al Padrique, please. Uh, we'll see. Let's see what um, Jonathan sent. Inside we have another envelope. Make sure there's no address on it. Nope. All right. Is Jonathan H. still here? I don't know. Jonathan H., are you still watching? Let's check out your note. Lindsman says, I'm going to send you some sharp scissors. I bought some. They're out in my car. I just have not brought them in yet. All right, let's see here. It says, Jabs, thank you for being a content creator uh, who helps people like me pass the time. I've been practically immobile for some time due to continued back problems. I hear you. Um... I, I was on the shelf with back problems back in, what was it, 2000 and, uh, 2009 or so? I can't remember the exact year, but I had a herniated disc in my back. I could barely walk for a week. Uh, it says, Thank, thankfully, my position allows me to work from home, but it gets hard to be stuck inside so much. Being able to relax and watch your streams or videos is always nice. I appreciate you sharing your time and love of the hobby with us. In close, you'll find some old cards that I got back from the diamond giveaway days where you registered codes to get the cards. You'll also find assorted things that I pulled and some Ranger stuff to give away to that one other Ranger fan out there that must exist somewhere in this world. Thanks again, and enjoy, Jonathan Hall. P.S. If you ever need any new Apple products, let me know. I'm an engineering manager at Apple and I have a friends and family discount of 15% on most items. That's pretty interesting. My computer is from like 2007. I, my lap, or not my laptop, my um, PC here is pretty crappy. I was thinking about getting a, uh, a new laptop. The laptop I use for like all my um, YouTube stuff is a work computer. It's a, um, it's a Mac. It's pretty good, except I can't install anything on it because it's not rightfully mine. So I like, can't download any programs or anything. There's Cleveland Card Connection. So I've, I've been thinking about buying a new laptop from Apple. Thank you very much for uh, offering that to me. 15% off would definitely save me some cash on one of those laptops. They're pretty pricey. Let's check these cards out. We got a Tim Lincecum rookie card. How about that? Tim Lincecum. Very, very nice. And then a 19, 1958 Norm Zalchin. That's pretty awesome. Jonathan H., there he is, says, I'll hook you up, Eric. Thank you very much for that $4.99 Super Chat. Jonathan H. is here, everybody. So click on that $4.99 Super Chat and give him a sub if you would. He is the sender of this fan mail package. These are pretty nice. Jerry, 1960 Tops. Is that Casali? Joe Shipley. These are in pretty good shape. Ooh, check this one out. 1956 Billy Lowe's. 1956 Billy Lowe's. A Dwight D. Eisenhower first pitch. It is an authentic Griffith Stadium seat. So they cut up a piece of Griffith Stadium, which is where the Washington Senators used to play, and uh, put that in there. That's pretty cool. Mike Trout, 2015. Barry Bonds, 91 Ultra. Jose De Leon. Kenny Lofton. Charlie Huff, 88. There's a $3 or three New Zealand dollar super chat. Liriana rookie says, watching on a rainy Saturday afternoon. Sure, bro. Uh, MG, thank you very much for that $3 New Zealand super chat. Are there any card shops over there in New Zealand at all? 
There's there's a 58 Gene Conley, a 57 Tom Chaney, and a Cal Ripken Prism card. That's really, really nice. Then we have an Ian Kinsler commemorative patch. And uh, he said this was to fulfill the uh, Rangers fans out there, if I ever get any requests from Ranger fans. And Michael Young, Nell Nelly Cruz, Kinsler, Napoli, and Nolan Ryan. Those are pretty nice. And then a Derek Holland refractor rookie card, mint nine, Derek Holland. Very nice stuff. Always like graded cards. Jonathan, thank you very much. I'm going to pick out probably one or two of these to throw into the giveaway coming up very shortly. Which one do you guys want me to throw in there? I feel like the Mike Trout was probably worth the most, or maybe one of these older ones. Um, let's see. Which one would you guys probably like the most? Um... How about we do Jerry Casale? Casale? You guys want the relic? You guys want the presidential relic? Is that worth the most? All right, you're all saying relic. I like that relic a lot, but I want to definitely hook you guys up for watching. So we'll put that Ike in there. Dwight D. Eisenhower relic. Into the stash. We're doing the top 10 um, in our in our trivia, so we'll be doing trivia shortly in the top 10, get the pick. Uh, whoever's first gets to pick whatever card they want. Second, give me your top two picks, just in case your first pick's taken and so on. W. Vogs, the questions will be coming shortly. We have to open all the packages first, and there's only a few left. This next one is from Lucas Long. Um, look at these scissors like, this is pathetic. I should I should run out to my garage. I think they're in my garage or my car and get my new pair of scissors. I've definitely bought myself a new pair. All right, inside we have this from Lucas. Aaron says, use a butter knife. I might as well. It would be about the same effectiveness. We got some Pokemon cards for Olivia. This looks like it's from a young fan. It says, uh, where is that here? Dear Jabs family, this is your pal Lucas in Toby Hanna, PA. I just wanted to say thank you very much for your return letter and the rookie card that you sent me. It was just what I was looking for. You are the best. I have enclosed some more Pokemon cards for Olivia as well as some more Pirates cards for you. I hope you like them. Uh, I also added a special limited edition 2019 Toby Hanna Little League Lucas Long signed rookie card. Who knows? You might have a future Hall of Famer in your hands. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you again for the... Uh, and if you come across any cool Yankees cards, like Jeter or Judge cards, please send me something cool back. Uh, keep up the great work, Lucas. Lucas, you're very welcome for uh, the card, card or cards I sent. I can't remember exactly what because I've been fulfilling a lot of requests recently. And, um, but hey, thanks for sending me stuff. I'm, I'm more than happy to send you some cards. Uh, let's see, we got Andrew McCutcheon. This is an all-star game relic. That's pretty awesome. Event worn workout jersey. So he wore this dur during the uh, workout day, uh, the home run derby and, and workout day. That's the day before. Uh, Roberto Clemente, what is your oldest Nolan Ryan card? I have the 68 Tops card somewhere, but I cannot find it and it's driving me nuts. Like, I do not know what I did with it. I'm about ready to tear my house apart. Uh, Lucas Long, there he is. Lucas Long, autographed Lucas Long card. So he said, you never know, he might be a Hall of Famer someday, and this is going to be very valuable if he, he does become a Hall of Famer. How about this? Tom A. with a $50 Super Chat. Tom, thank you very much for that. He says, good evening, Eric. I got my Patreon package today. I am working on your next Fan Mail Friday package. Tom, thank you very much. For that $50 Super Chat, Tom is one of my top Patreon patrons. Um, loves his Red Sox. And uh, thank you once again, Tom, for that $50 Super Chat. Really, really appreciate that. And Jonathan H. said, Eric, I should have an extra 2013 13-inch MacBook. If you want to save some cast, I'll just send it to you. Feel free to email me and we could talk. Holy cow, Jonathan H., thank you very much. Um, yeah, man, maybe I could trade you some stuff for it. It's very, very generous of you. I probably, to be honest with you, the computer I'm using right now is probably from about that time. So, um, I mean, it'd be nice to be able to get some editing software on my computer and stuff. Can't really ever download anything. 
But maybe we can uh, do some trade. I can send you a bunch of uh, cards or something. Something that's equal to whatever the computer's worth. Really appreciate that. We got some Pirates cards here. And um, really cool stuff. Which was your favorite card out of um, the package here from Lucas? I'm gonna keep. I'm not gonna give away the signed card that he gave me of himself. I'm gonna keep that one for my own personal collection. But uh, which one do you want me to throw into the uh, giveaway here in a few minutes? Which one should I toss in there? Jordy Mercer for you Tigers fans. Garrett Cole rookie card. To be honest with you, I already have a Garrett Cole uh, rookie card in the uh, break. You guys are saying you want the McCutcheon All-Star? All right. You never know. Somebody might not take it. And we have a $1.99 Super Chat from Comfort Cards. This is looking to get to 100 subs tonight. That's Darren Comfort. Make sure you check him out. Click on his $1.99 Super Chat. Click Go to Channel. And uh, give him a sub. He's getting close to 100. And uh, you guys can get him there right now. We're 263 of you watching. Hope you guys will check him out. All right, this next one, we got basically two packages left, and then we'll be doing the uh, the game show style. These are both from Danny Bryant. One has been ripped open, and the other is not ripped open. So well, I guess let's just get right to it. Two different envelopes. One of them made it unscathed. One got pretty jacked up. My brother had the same issue in his fan mail Friday. I was watching a little bit of his. He got a box that was completely drenched. Completely drenched in water. Like, like, the whole box was dripping wet. It was pretty weird. Um, so it must have, like, fallen or something in the... I don't know. Like, fallen outside and just sat there and just got completely just ruined. Luckily, though, the wax boxes inside were sealed. And um, the book got a little bit of damage. Harold Baines. Check that one out. Harold Baines. Second year card. 82. So probably the best one on that pile, I'd say, is either, either that Baines or the Conseco. And let's also check out his other one here. It's from Danny Bryant. These are both from Danny. Only one more package left after this, and then get your uh, thinking caps on for some trivia. All right, Kyle Ripken Jr. Ozzy Albies. How about that one? Ozzy Albies game used. That is a nice one. Harold Baines, 82. That's pretty cool. I think we could throw both these Harold Baines in as like a package deal into the giveaway pile. And um, nice stuff there. That Ozzy Albee. Somebody just asked me for a nice Braves relic, I think. It was, it, it was a rookie or a relic? I can't remember. I might have to save that for them. Let's check out the note as I plug my phone in because I just got a warning. The uh, phone is almost dead. So let's switch the lights so I can, I think we should be charging now. I don't want to go dark on you here. All right, it says, hey, Eric, it's been a while since I've sent some cards, so I sent you two envelopes. Thanks for the Randy Johnson and Manny Ramirez rookie cards. You're welcome, Danny. Any chance you have a Roger Clemens rookie card of his, or from his tenure with the Yankees? Also, a Chris Davis rookie. Thank you for the great content. I'll have to see what I have. I definitely have a Clemens rookie. But I think I promised that to uh, a subscriber named Joe. Joe um, is a Philadelphia teacher, and uh, he wrote me a fan mail a while ago. And I said I'd, I'd send him the Clemens, but I have not been able to find it yet. Um, it's somewhere in all these 5,000 count boxes, but when I come across it, I'm going to send it to him. And if I find a second one, I'll send it to you, and I'll see if a Chris Davis rookie uh, turns up. I definitely should have some from his tenure with the Yankees. Uh, Danny, thank you very much for the card you sent me. You're welcome for the Randy Johnson rookie card and Manny Ramirez rookie card. And uh, really appreciate um, really appreciate you sending these cards. We picked out the Harold Baines little duo, duo set there for the uh, giveaway. Looks like we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks like we got about ten. Do I have any porcelain cards? I do have a couple of them. All right, here we go. This is our last one, and then it's time for the giveaway. The $2 a bacon barrel roll says, hey, Eric, will you be doing any group breaks soon? Um, I think the next break that we're doing is going to be Top's Finest. My Top's Finest case is already on the way. Pretty excited about that. It was sent on, I think it was sent on Thursday, yesterday. I don't know how it got sent that early, so... 
thing is, if I receive it on like Monday, I don't know if I'm allowed to break it before the release day. I don't want Tops getting mad at me and like tracking me down and um, or like going after my distributor, but I am I might have it early. I might just do like one box as a preview. It'd be kind of cool if Tops would kind of like, I don't know, kind of like hook up with me and um, maybe I could do like a preview break or something like that. They could send me it early. That would be really, really nice. And I could just give all the cards away. Or, um, I don't know. What is this? Wow, check this out. It's a Dave Matthews Band. Official, um, Dave Matthews Band, the Warehouse Fan Association, Charlottesville, Virginia. Um, warehouse member. That's pretty cool. I, I got my warehouse package in the mail. They send you a monthly package. I didn't open it yet, though. It's, I don't know what I did with it. It's probably in my garage. Uh, that's pretty nice. I'm a, I've been a Dave Matthews Band warehouse member since 2002. February of 2002 is when I started. Basically, if you're a fan member of the of warehouse, you pay $35 a month. They send you a, uh, like a care package every year. Or not a month. It's $35 a year. And um, you get first access to tickets. Sometimes you get really good tickets. Usually you get crappy tickets. I mean, I've not had too good of luck. I mean, sometimes it would luck out, but it's usually the members that join in December of um, 98 that get the best tickets all the time. But I still am signed up for it. All right. Let's see what we have in here. This is our very last package. Check out the note first. It says, um, hey, Eric. Been watching your channel for a few months now, and it has reignited my love of collecting. I can remember taking my binder of 87 tops to grade school to trade with my classmates. It got to the point where the teacher confiscated our cards for the day. Uh, here's a selection of stuff for you to either keep or pass along to others. Um, I mostly collect Reds cards myself, so if you feel like sending anything back, that would be my preference. Enjoying the breaks and happy to be able to support you on Patreon. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Tony G. Um, thank you very much, Tony, for the kind words. And the Star Wars card is to show a card that made good use of the larger dimensions that the Fleer Extra Basis set used. This was called Wide Vision by Tops and was used to show the full wide screen, screen image from the movie. That's pretty cool. And here that card is. You can see this is the same size as that 94 Extra Basis set that we had to look at. Uh, but this is actually, this looks pretty nice. I just, I always hated the extra basis set because you could not fit them in boxes. You couldn't fit them in topplers. You had to buy special supplies just for them. It never really caught on. So thank you very much, Tony. Let's check out these cards and we'll pick a couple to give away to people. We got some rookie cards here. Love the rookie cards. Xander Bogart's rookie card. That's awesome. Might have to give that one away to you guys. Um, let's see... Lots of, love the rookie cards, man. Jonathan Scope rookie is a good one. Ichiro, gold cup card. Albert Pujols, gold cup card. Those were nice ones. Ricky Henderson, 84 Donruss. That is a beautiful card. 84 Donruss is a really gorgeous set. I don't know why, but I love that set. Randy Johnson rookie card. Someone might want that one. We'll put that in a good one. The Bo Nose card. That's the bow nose card from 1990 score. Everybody used to want that card back in the day. Marion Rivera, Neil Walker, Brock Holt, rookie card. There he is. Going to be seeing this guy everywhere for probably the rest of my life. Ryan Sandberg, rookie card, 83 Fleer. Tom A says, when's the next breakup for sale? I'll try to list that tomorrow, Tom. Thank you very much for that $5 super chat. Um, it's going to be top's finest. And I also have... Two more spots of definitive collection. To check out this. Buster Posey, Future Star rookie card. I've not seen this before. That's pretty awesome. I also have two spots of definitive that I have to sell. Yasiel Puig rookie card. Let's put that in the giveaway. People like him a lot. Ronald Acuna Jr. The bow card used to be worth 100 bucks. as the Fonz. Yeah, that, was, that card was scorching hot back in the day. The Sandberg rookie card is very nice. Very nice. Love that card. It's a nice Mookie Betts numbered. This is a really nice collection of card. Walker Bueller, 35th anniversary rookie card. Lucas Giolito. Oh, we've got relics now. Yonder Alonso, Craig Kimbrell, All Star Game, Carlos Correa, Bryant, and Andrews. We got to probably pick out 
another relic or two to give away to you guys. I know a lot of people like relics. Let's see here. Wade Boggs, commemorative rookie card. Uh, Joe Maurer, Troy Tulowitzki patch. Puig, Harvey patches. And Don Sutton. Don Sutton's a Hall of Famer. Which relic is your best, uh, most favorite one that you want me to put in the giveaway? The Giolito card is the first one I saw. Someone said Bryant. I see two Bryants. I see Puig, Maurer. Bryant, Sutton, Sutton, Correa, says W. Voggs, Andrews. It's pretty split between everybody. Seems like Bryant and Sutton are getting the most votes. Um, all right, Chris Bryant it is. You guys, Chris Bryant relic. I think he's slightly ahead. You're probably right. That's probably worth the most. Chris Bryant's been on fire the past couple weeks. Really coming back around. Started out slow this year, but he has been on fire. He's a Chris Bryant of old. Christian Yelich has been on fire, by the way, all season long. Leading the league in home runs with 21. Some nice cards in here. Very, very nice cards. Dustin Pedroia might never play again. We talked about that the other night. We have some opening day rainbow cards. There's a J.D. Martinez bat relic. That's a nice one. Some 86 tops cards. Vince Coleman rookie card. What else we have here? There's an autograph card from Ryan Wing. And this is a pretty cool one. Osvaldo Fernandez. I remember when he came over, he was like a big name when he first defected from Cuba. Um, never really had too much success in the major leagues. We have some mini cards here, 87 mini liters and also 80, what is that, 86 mini liters, I think? No, 88 mini liters, I guess. The mini liters cards were cool for a little while. Austin Farmer says, having surgery Thursday, sent a package for next week. Austin, thank you very much uh, for that super chat. I hope your surgery goes well. Surgery is never fun but it's best just to get it over with. Here's the George Brett. I wonder if this is the George Brett error card. This is not the error card. There is a 1990 um, George Brett error card. The error is on the back right around here, but this one does not have the error on it, but still pretty cool. I can't tell you what the error is though, at least not yet. You'll see why in a minute. Remember these? What were they? these Hostess cards? Yeah, Hostess. Remember these? Bryce Harper. That's a nice one. That one's pretty sick. Jeff Hoffman. How about this one? Ryan Sandberg short print. That is a very nice one. Did not have that one. Ozzy Albies rookie card. Hey, someone just asked for an Ozzy Albies rookie card. Um, we got a show code there. Alex Bregman rookie card. How about that one? Um, someone asked me for that one in Fan Mail Friday. I wrote down their address, so I'm going to need that one to send to somebody. All right, so thank you very much for those cards. That was very nice, Tony. And also, we have these craft singles. Like, what are these? I've never seen these before. Superstars 93. Have you guys ever seen these? These, like, come in... Oh, wait, I have seen these before. I used to have a couple of these. I've seen these before. You pull these up, and check that out. See that three-dimensional stuff going on there? That's pretty cool. I have seen these. I, I didn't have that many of them, though. I didn't know they came in packs like that. I don't know where I got the, the ones that I had from, but those are pretty neat. Awesome stuff. Nice little oddball thing there. Superstars 93. National and American. So you get the whole complete set there. Very nice. Thank you, Tony. All right, let me clean up, and then uh, it's time to do the giveaway. So if you'd like to win any of these cards that I've, I've been just picking out like the most viable cards or so from each um, package that was sent. We got 10 packages tonight. So let's go through and show you what you can win. And depending on the place you come in, that's the um, that will be the choice you get. So if you're first, you get first choice. If you're second, you get second choice. If you're 10th, you get whatever card is left over from everyone else passing it by. So let's see here. Let me just get this all put away. I want to make sure I put Tony's cards back in his box. We have a Chris Bryant relic, Yasiel Puig rookie card, Randy Johnson rookie card from Score. Uh, we have Xander Bogarts rookie card, and that's a parallel card there, not number, but still a parallel. 
We have this first pitch card, a relic of Dwight D. Eisenhower, first pitch from Griffith Stadium. Collector 65, card collector 65, JW. Thank you very much for that super chat. Needs 20 more subs. Luis Severino, rookie card. Andrew McCutcheon, all-star um, event worn jersey relic. We also have a Walker Bueller rookie card that you can take. A Garrett Cole rookie card, which should be going up and up in value as he continues to uh, dominate. Um, we got these two Harold Baines were the best cards out of one of the packages. 82. They're both from 82. We'll put these two as a lot. Harper and Trout. You can take both of those. Those were out of one. Uh, Derek Jeter was the best one out of another one. And then these four were, I just did, I think the first package we did, I picked. tried to pick out the top four so you get all four of these if you'd like to take all four of those. Bueller, Big League, Cabrera, uh, Bowman, Kevin Kramer, Bowman, Rookie Card, and Jacob DeGrom, um, Gypsy Queen. So here we go. What you need to participate, first of all, you're going to be able to, you need to be able to watch my live stream because the questions are going to come up on my live stream. So if you watched my last Fan Mail Friday, you know how it works. You also need to have a second device, an iPad, another cell phone, or something to record your answers on. Um, basically, your second device is going to be like your remote or like your entry keypad. Um, on your second device, there's going to be four different choices that come up, and you just press the one that you think is the correct answer. And um, it's going to give you points based on how fast you answer and also if you're correct or not. And also, if you have a streak going, an answer streak gets you extra points. So the most you could possibly get is 1,000 points per question. But if you answer a few questions in a row, you can get over 1,000. So here we go. You're going to go. It's going to come up here in a second. You're going to go to this site right here, kahoot.it. Kahoot.it. There is the screen. Kahoot.it. I don't know if you guys like this music or not, so I'm going to turn it off. I don't know if this song is copyrighted or not, and I don't want to get a copyright strike. Um, basically, what happens with that is all the money that I would get from... Um, the stream, which isn't much, usually like an ad revenue in a stream like this is probably like twenty to thirty dollars in ad revenue, and uh, that money would go to directly whoever claims that song, whether it's Kahoot or whether it's some third party. Um, I've had that happen before, where I made like my own little beat on um, GarageBand and just use like generic like chords and stuff, and it's been claimed by some rapper that used the exact same chords, which is pretty dumb. Chasing Donnie Baseball with a $5 super chat says, Sorry, I'm out. My dexterity does not allow me to compete. Good luck at all. Uh, good luck all. Thank you uh, very much, Chasing Donnie Baseball. You can still watch the questions and answer at home. Um, I would just ask that nobody answer in the uh, live stream. So if you know the answer, do not type it into the chat or you will be put in timeout for 300 I'm seconds. Super chats. Huh? You're the same super chats. I am. What a, I got Chasing Donnie Baseball. 618 Sports Cards says, Love Fan Mail Friday. Five more subs for my giveaway. Sorry that I missed that the first time up. 618 Sports Cards, thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Hope you guys will check out his channel. And I'm just scrolling back up to make sure I didn't miss any more. My wife is watching out in the other room uh, to make sure I don't mess up and skip over Super Chat. Sometimes um, they come up too fast and they just disappear. But um, I think I got everyone. Card Collector 65, thank you very much once again. Uh, 618 Supports Cards, thank you very much for your Super Chat and Chasing Donnie Baseball. All right, we ready to start? Are we ready to start? We got 81 people uh, participating. Um, see, all of your names are there. Lots of people in here, 83, 85. How do I join in your trivia? W Vogs, you got to go to kahoot.it. So you can either do that on your computer, like your laptop, your phone, your iPad. You need a second. Um, you need to have a second device where you can answer. So, I'll give you a few more seconds before we get started. I was just explaining it to him. Just go to your other device, Vogs, computer, iPad, whatever, something with internet, 
and go to kahoot.it and you're gonna have to watch the live stream. Jeremy says, or have two monitors for your computer. Some people will have that. 91 players, should, I guess, should we start when we get to 100? 92? It would not let me put the V. It says somebody. 93, 94, we'll start at 100. Enter game pin. That's this number right here, Vogs. 47563, and just type your name, W Vogs, and then you'll be in. Your name will pop up here with everybody else. How many questions? There's 25 questions. There's the first 10 questions are 30 seconds apiece, which there is a delay. There's about a five to 10 second delay. So you actually have about 20 seconds. Um, questions 10 through 25 are all 20 seconds. So your actual time is about 10 seconds to answer. That way it's going to be harder for people to Google questions. All right, we're up over 100 people in. Let's get started. Uh, let me just zoom out a little bit so you can see the entire screen. Um, let me just go down there you got to be able to see everything so you can see all the questions okay here we go hopefully you're all in first question on your device what famous youtuber is this you're going to see a picture who's that guy remember do not answer in the chat or you will be put in timeout i don't know if that's too loud you might recognize that guy he's got over 800, uh, Philip, you got to go in timeout. Sorry about that. Remember, do not answer in the chat or you will be sent to the timeout box. That's T.D. Barrett, everybody. And it looks like um, a majority of you know T.D. Barrett. He's from Canada and up over 800,000 subs. He does a lot of MLB The Show and uh, other sports games. Pretty cool YouTuber. Never heard of him? Well, Jeff Lawman has. You're the first in first place. Next, who was the 1992 American League MVP? Is it Kirby Puckett Red, Ken Griffey Jr., Blue, Dennis Eckersley Yellow, or Frank Thomas in Green? 1992 American League MVP award winner. Correct answer is Dennis Eckersley. Only nine of you got that one right. Dennis Eckersley won the Cy Young Award and also the 92 MVP Award in 1992, surprisingly enough. So that was a hard question. And Adam B., you are in the lead. Jeff Lawman falls to third. Only two people are two for two. So a lot of you got that one wrong. That was a tough one. Next, in my brother's fan mail Friday that he uploaded earlier, hopefully you watched it, which was one of the wax boxes he received? So he was sent two wax boxes. What was one of them? Turn that down a little bit. Hopefully you watched my brother's Fan Mail Friday. This is to reward those of you that did. So you see, it's not all like junk wax questions. I, I figured some younger fans probably watched my brother's stuff. It was 91 Upper Deck. He got 91 Upper Deck and 93 Ultra. Um, those were in there and that was in the soaked box. So first place is Adam B. Adam B., must have watched that video. Wait, maybe Adam got that question wrong and he's just in the lead from getting the uh, Eckersley question right. What year is this box of tops from? I'm gonna show you a picture. What years are from? Red, 1980, blue, 85, yellow, 82, or green, 1983? It's kind of a tough question because you can't really see the card design that well on the front unless you're really paying attention. Card Collector 65JW says 2007. The correct answer is 1982. Most of you got that one right. That picture is going to look familiar if you watched my Throwback Thursday yesterday. Thank you, JNW Cards. I figured this would be a nice, easy, fair way. This way I don't have to scroll through all the comments. Who was arrested in 1983 for cruelty towards animals for killing a bird with a throw? Uh, I believe this happened up in in Toronto. W. Vogue says, these are hard. It's it's kind of a mixture, Vogue. Some are going to be hard and some are going to be easy. Nineteen eighty three should help you eliminate one of those players. 
It definitely was not Randy Johnson because he was not playing in 83. His rookie card was 89. The correct answer was Dave Winfield. Dave Winfield was arrested in 1983 following a Yankees and Blue Jays game for killing a seagull with a throw during warm-ups in between innings. Noah S. takes the lead. Here's another one for you Yankees fans. How far away is the right field foul pole from home play to Yankee Stadium? Joe says, good questions. I got all correct except the first one, which was non-baseball. That's right. I tried to do a little mixture. Some non-baseball ones, some YouTube ones, some Jabs Family ones, some baseball card ones. Um, that way nobody can like run away with a dominating game performance. It's 314 feet. Most of you knew that one. Good job. That's the right field porch out there. 314. And that clicking sound is my DVD that's stuck in there and not coming out. I have a DVD of Selena, uh, which I was showing in uh, some of my classes today. And the January 1993 Beckett, how much was a 1980 Ricky Henderson card valued at? January 93. I think it had Frank Thomas on the front. I just pulled it aside. I was like, what was this worth at the beginning of 93? Remember, it was, um, I'm not going to give any more hints. That might give it away. 10 bucks, 80 bucks, 200 bucks, or 125 bucks. Alex, I got to put you in timeout. Remember, you're not supposed to answer um, during this. No hints. You'll be back in 300 seconds. Just been banning people because it gets annoying. Uh, like if Adam B's in first place and then someone, no SC's the right answer, it's really not fair. All right, what injury have I never sustained at PNC Park? So if you've been watching for a while, you've probably seen me get hurt a few times. Which injury have I never sustained at PNC Park? I've been hurt more than once. And time is up. Um, I've never broken my finger. I actually herniated a disc in my back back in like 2009. I mentioned that earlier when I was doing a Jonathan H's package, but I sprained my ankle several times, split over my shin 10 days ago. I have not broken my finger yet, knock on wood. Adam B still in the lead. This is a baseball card question for those of you that are baseball card wizards. What year is Andre Dawson's rookie card? And to help you out, there's a picture of the card. Do you remember what year that is? Thank you. Sh uh, Shahin, I can't pronounce your last name, says really dig your channel. Shaggy says I suck at this. Well, keep trying. You might get a, a rash of easier questions. 1977 tops is Dawson's rookie card. All right, next. Adam B still in the lead. And we have a $5 super chat from Toto Man says, hey, sir, Eric Jabs, how you feeling? Hope all is well. You're building a great baseball community and I'm thankful for it. By the way, tier one first break. Has it been sent out? Um, I think about 80% of tier one's been sent out. The rest of it will go out probably by Monday at the latest. Who am I? You should know this one, guys. 99 cent super chat from Willis. Thank you very much, Willis. Appreciate the super chat. Hope you guys will check out Willis if you've already submitted your answer. Pauly Junkwax says, this is better than Ecuador's Got Talent. Yeah, that's Will Clark. Good job, everybody. Most of you got that one right. That was a pretty easy one. Will the Thrill Clark. If you collect baseball cards, you've probably seen his cards. He's played for a long time. What year is this card from? This is a simple, just what year is that? That is a pretty iconic card from the 90s. Um, you should know this one. I would expect at least 80% of you will get this one right. Cool Plastic. You're in timeout. Do not give the answers. Shaggy Kobos, you're in timeout. No giving answers in the live stream really uh, defeats the purpose of doing all this. 61 of you got it right, so about, I don't know, 61%. That's a 93 tops card. Paul says, I feel like I'm in preschool, but I mean, I could permanently ban people, but it's probably just an honest mistake. What team did Pete Rose not play for? Keyword, what team did he not play for? Where's the blue wrench at? I got two moderators. I don't know if they're watching right now. Moderators could put people in timeout. What team did Pete Rose not play for? He never played for the Cardinals. He played for the Montreal Expos for a small portion 
about half a season. Played for the Phillies for a little bit and Cincinnati Reds for the bulk of his career. 56 of you got that one right. Johnny W. takes over the lead for first place. Remember, it's the top 10. So just the top 10 have to be in first place. How many double stitches are on a baseball? And we have a 777 Super Chat from Donald Blomdahl. It says, sorry, joined late. Had an awesome week. Going for 250 subs for my next goal. Currently at 158. Had a great start and steal. Hobby box break yesterday. Thank you very much, Donald. Hope you guys will check out his channel, 777. He does a lot of live streams. Has like a lot of different series going on for each day of the week. So check him out. Click on that 777. And... There's 108 stitches, double stitches on a baseball. 22 of you got that one right. Johnny W. is still in the lead. Remember, it's the top 10. By the way, Mock Masher is up 19 spots. Good job. This bobblehead is supposed to be a likeness of what player? Who the heck is that supposed to be? Is it McCovey, Mays, Bonds, or Bonds? I saw that on eBay, and I was like, okay. Who the heck is that supposed to be? It's a 2001 bobblehead. It's supposed to be Barry Bonds. I didn't think it really looked like him, so I thought it'd be kind of an interesting oddball question, off the ball, off the wall question. Those are the types of questions that can get people uh, up in the standings pretty quick. How did Tops discard 2 million leftover inventory cards from the 1952 release? In 1952, at the end of the season, Tops had 2 million cards left over. What did they do to get rid of their extra stock? Did they bury them in a cave? Did they dump them into the ocean? Did they burn them in a fire? Or did they give them away at children's hospitals? The correct answer is they actually took them out in the, the Atlantic Ocean and dumped them in the ocean. So... Um, yeah, a bunch of 1952 Topps cards. Think of all those, like, uh, PSA 10 mantles that probably just went down to the bottom of the sea. Perfect condition. 1952 Topps. True story. Sounds like bad littering, yep. But, um, it was a different world back then. What team won the World Series in 2015? It's a more recent question. All you kids that are probably, like, 10 years old or so should at least remember this one. So you're probably like seven. This is a question that everyone should be able to get, hopefully. And most of you did get this one right. The Kansas City Royals beat the Mets in 2015. Johnny W's pretty good there. First place, commanding lead. It's a top 10, so I can't really see what's going on right now in the battle for 10th place, but... Uh, keep trying. Even if you're in like 30th, 40th place, you saw somebody jump up 19 spots. What year is this card from? This is an iconic looking card just because it is so ugly. Like, why would they put that for Brooks's picture? Poor guy. Like, let me just put the worst Brooks Robinson picture I could possibly find. Not an earthquake, just trying to replug in my phone. Just got another low battery message. That's from 1958, Brooks Robinson. That's his second year card. His rookie card is 57. Johnny hanging on to the first place. Worst pick ever. Yeah, that's a bad pick. I mean, it looks like he's like mid-sentence. Who is this guy? It's a recent player, so you should know this one. I took a picture of the card and just cut off his name. I just added my wife as a moderator to help me out the people giving answers. If you want to put people in timeout, you can go ahead. People giving answers. Nice job, everybody. That's Javier Baez. It's his rookie card. 2015 Studio, I think it is. What's the error? There's only six questions left. There's an error card. What's the error in this card? Is it red? His left hand should be cropped out of the left border. Blue. Witten should be spelled Witten with two Ts. Mark is misspelled and should be marked with a C. Or the last one, the wrong position, is printed on the card. 
What's the error? This 1991 Topps Mark Winton card. I don't have this card. The correct answer is his left hand should be cropped out of the left border. Let's show you that picture again. There it is. See how his hand is coming out there? <clears throat> no other 91 Topps card is like that. So that is a pretty valuable card. If you have that one in your box of 91 Topps at home, you better go and uh, go find it because it, it definitely is worth a pretty penny. That is a good one. Tough to find. I don't have it. At least I don't think I have it. It might be in one of those collections that I bought. Next, only five questions left after this one. It says, what year is this card from? That is a Mike Piazza card. Is it red 94? Blue 95? Yellow 92? Or green 93? There's my brother. My brother is actually the one that told me about that error card. We're doing our giveaway right now. Jonna, this is how we're doing it. This is Kahoot. That is from 1992. That's a 1992 Fleer update. Mike Piazza rookie card. My brother actually got that card down in Maryland when he bought the entire set along with the Jeff Kent. Johnny W. is really putting up a strong performance. Basically all but clinching first place. The battle now is for spots two through ten. Let's go to the next one. How many Cy Young Awards did Nolan Ryan win? One of the best pitchers of all time. 300 plus wins, 5,000 plus strikeouts. How many Cy Young Awards did Nolan Ryan have in his long career? Played up through, what, 93 was his last year. So 60, did he break in 67, 67 to 93? Something like that. His rookie card was 68 tops. He won zero Cy Youngs. Pretty, pretty uh, surprising, but uh, had some really good years, but just was never the number one best pitch in the league, but always consistently really, really good. Zero is the correct answer. Johnny W. got that one right. What is the error on this 1990 Fleer George Brett card? We just saw this card tonight, and I checked the back to see if the error was there, and the card we got was the corrected version. What is the error on this 1990 Fleer George Brett card? The correct answer is green. It lists him for 10 390 seasons. He hit 390 in 1980. And uh, instead of saying a 390 season, it says 10 390 seasons. So that was the error card. And uh, only a couple questions left. What famous baseball YouTuber is this? Who is that? There's a bunch of YouTubers out there that have a lot more subs than I do. Who is that? Is it Zach Campbell? Is it Fuzzy? Mighty Goat or Dodger Film? I think all those guys have 100,000 or more subs. Zach Campbell has about 400,000. Mighty Goat's got like 350,000. Dodger Films has about 900 some thousand. 37 of you got that one right. That's Mighty Goat. Mighty Goat. Famous baseball YouTuber. Does a lot of great stuff. You should sub to him if you're not already. Let's continue on. That might have knocked out some of the trivia uh, buffs. Some of the younger kids probably got that one. What college did I graduate from? So if you were watching my video, I did a tour of my college about, I don't know, two years ago. So for you longtime fans of the channel, this is to reward you with a 1,000 points, if you can remember. What college did I graduate from? Washington and Jefferson. Okay, most of you got that one right. Good job. W and J, I graduated back in 03. A small school, only about a little over a 1,000 kids. And we're down to our final question. Then we'll take a look at the top 10. What famous baseball YouTuber is this guy? It's another question more geared towards kids. A lot of kids in uh, the school I teach at know this guy. At least the kids that like baseball like his videos. Or if you picked up some packs of 2019 Donruss, he actually had an insert card. That's Domingo Ayala. Most people picked Esteban Espinosa. I just made up these other names. Um, Domingo Ayala is his name. He has a YouTube channel. And he also was featured in 2019 Donruss. So let's check out who the top 10 were. Johnny W., you have first overall pick. You got 19 right and only five wrong. That's really good. There are some tough questions in there. Um, let's go to the results here. Um, 
save results. Let's go to a direct download and see what we've got going on there. Direct download. You've chosen to open up results. Yeah, we wanna see those from Blob. I don't know why it says that, that's pretty weird. All right, we're gonna see the top 10. It's going a little slow right now. I can see the dancing Excel icon at the bottom, which means it's opening. I just have a slower computer here. Angela says, that was fun. Hope to see more of these. Nick Campbell says, I think I came in last. Well, it was multiple choice, so you should have gotten at least 25% of them right on average. That's probably about the way, if you knew nothing at all. All right, that's not what I wanted to see. Um, I can see everybody's answer and what they answered. There's a 20 Swedish dollar super chat. Thank you very much. Emil Larson, very, very kind of you. Let's go to the uh, final scores. Here we go. This is what we wanted. Here are the top 10. So let's just make, uh, let's zoom in a little bit here. Just make the font bigger. Go like, I don't know, size 25. Okay, I want the whole thing to be 25. Here we go. With a score of 22,000 points, Johnny W came in first place. Paul, you're second. Jeff, you're third. Baseball lover, good job. You're fourth. Elsa, El Nas Hub, you're fifth. Noah S is sixth. Adam B, seventh. Chris M, eighth. Trent Moore, ninth. And Ryan B, ninth. What you have to do to claim your prize is send an email to Jab's family giveaways. That's a special page that I use just to track this stuff at gmail.com. I want you to type, why did it go so small? Come on. Um, let me just try to make that larger for you. And then I need you to give me your YouTube name, the place that you finished, um, the card that you want. You'll just have to go back and watch that card you want from the from the pre-game. Let's call it the pre-game. I showed all the cards so you can um, just go back and find what you want. And I need your mailing address. Some people have sometimes won stuff and not sent me their mailing address. I think that's everything. I need your YouTube name, your place you finished, the card you want from the pre-game. Pre like, I want the Garrett Cole rookie card um, and your mailing address. And also, give me the, um, by the way, give me a list. Like, for example, if you come in third place, you're going to have to give me, like, your top three choices, okay? Because there's a good chance that if you want the Andrew McCutcheon All-Star Relic and you're in, like, 10th place, it's probably going to be gone. So... Give me a list, like if you're in, in ninth place, give me nine choices. If you're in eighth place, give me eight choices. If you're in sixth place, give me six choices. If you're in third place, give me three, your top three. That way I can make sure I get you one of those. Uh, you could see that the rest of the people, um, Jack McCutcheon, 16 questions right, which should have been good enough to be in the top, but was not answering quickly enough. That can happen on Kahoot. If like you take a second to look it up on Google, you're not going to get as many points as if you would put it in right away. Um, every second you wait, you lose like, I don't know what it is, 50 points or something like that. It just goes down from there. So we'll scroll down and show you everyone's scores. Um, Tim English says, go to 21st. I want to see how crappy I did. 21st place? No, you're 22nd place, actually, it looks like. You got 14 right, so you got better than 50%. It's not too bad. Um, Austin Farmer, you got 50%. W. Voggs, 10, 10 out of 22. Looks like you might have not answered a couple questions. Sometimes you can run out of questions. There's Triple C, got nine right. Dave M with 10 right. We won't call out any more beyond that. If you're in the bottom half, we don't want to embarrass you. But here is the bottom of the list. You can see where you're at. Looks like we had a grand total of 113 people play. So thank you very much. Uh, everyone that played, and congratulations to the top 10. Make sure you send a um, send an email with all that information. I'll get that stuff out to you probably by Monday along with last week's Fan Mail Friday stuff too. I got a lot of extra time on my hands now that school is ending, so I, I will be able to stay more up-to-date with responding to Fan Mail because I literally 
I'm responding to some fan mail from months and months ago that I was doing today. So thanks for the fun, everybody. Um, thanks for sending me these packages to all 11 of you that sent fan mail packages. This wouldn't be possible without you. You guys supplied the packages. You guys supplied the cards in the giveaway. You guys basically did everything. You guys are awesome. Um, thank you very much. Um, all I had to do was sit around for about 45 minutes and make a Kahoot. They're fun to make. Uh, I'll make them different every time. Um, I try to make them, you know, kind of a little bit challenging. Um, some baseball stuff in there. Some uh, baseball card stuff in there. And uh, we'll see what I come up with next week. So with that, it's about 11.26, so I'm going to go to bed. Um, got a busy day tomorrow. We're, my brother and I are going to hit some flea markets or baseball card stores with an old friend of ours. Um, our childhood friend is coming back to hang out with us. We haven't seen him. I haven't seen him in 10 years. My brother hasn't seen him in 18 years. Um, so it'll be just like old times. It used to be over our house every single day. He knows a ton about baseball cards, had a huge collection. His collection was way better than ours when we were growing up. And uh, you'll get to meet him whenever I make the video from tomorrow is. So thank you once again for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to sign off now and, um, yeah, get, get some sleep. So tomorrow I'm not sure what I'm going to upload yet. Uh, just stay tuned for that, and we'll see what I come up with. I hope you had fun watching, and I hope you have a great weekend and a good rest of your night. We'll see you later, everybody.